Did your mother ever tell you that getting wasted will kill your brain cells? While you might have to worry about some of the hazards of drinking, everything from hangovers to liver disease to getting a DUI, killing off brain cells isn't one of them. And in New Orleans, that's probably a good thing. According to the National Institutes of Health, moderate drinking can even have health benefits, including a decreased risk for heart disease and death, a decreased risk for stroke, and a decreased risk for diabetes. And by moderate drinking, I mean one drink or fewer per day for a woman, or two drinks or fewer per day for a man. But back to your brain. Just because alcohol doesn't actually kill brain cells, it doesn't mean it doesn't affect them. Studies have shown that drinking alcohol can damage the ends of brain cells, which affect how they communicate with one another and how your brain works. Long-term heavy drinking can not only shrink the size of brain cells and affect coordination, sleep, and memory, it can result in enough damage to result in coma and even death. So even though your mama and them were not right about alcohol zapping your brain cells, it can impair them, especially if you drink too much. And that's something to think about before you take that second or third drink.